Hey what's up everyone, welcome to FX Maniac, this is Sayyid Mahmoud Amiri again and welcome to another exciting tutorial but before we get into the tutorial I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who is a part of my uh, channel FX Maniac so I just recently hit like 5000 subscribers which I'm really grateful for you guys and I need your continuous support to keep up making these awesome content for you so thank you again and as a very beautiful comment said we are all FX Maniac family right so yeah uh, so let's get into the tutorial uh, today after almost two years I'm going to be doing an After Effects tutorial where I'll show you guys how to create these simple worlds using Element 3D. So we have the fruit world, the urban world. This one looks a little bit odd because of the number of objects, but you get the idea, right? So you can you can create different worlds. And we have the projectile world, which is a little bit more dangerous, I would say, especially with these grenades and knives all right so let's get started it's a pretty simple setup so it's going to be a quick one and i hope you enjoy so uh let's create new composition so composition new composition i'm going to it's going to be like worlds and i'm going to go create new solid so go to layer new solid and name it world and i'm going to go into effect video copilot element so if you don't have element 3d you can go into video copilot and actually you know buy it from there and download it all right and we are going to be needing some textures which you can go ahead and uh, you know search like earth here and you have the ultra 3d art the or plugin and then you have the textures you can download the earth textures from there all right so i'm going to go back in after effects and i'm going to go into the scene setup so it's a very simple setup. So I'm going to go into a scene setup, create a sphere. So if you go into the wireframe mode, you can see that it is pretty low poly, which we don't want. We want it to be high poly. So you can go ahead and increase the segments to like 20 maybe. So now you have a lot of segments. I'm going to go back into shaded mode. And, uh, you know, if it is your first time encountering Element 3D, you know, you can go ahead and tell me in the comments if you want a basics tutorial about it all right so just wanted to do something random and different uh, you know uh, because after this I am going to be doing some After Effects tutorials as well so uh, now I want to add the texture into the diffuse so click down here on the material and click on the diffuse and I have a texture so once you download that you have the different you have the diffuse map and you have the cloud map which I've just you know combined them in Photoshop set it to screen and save it as a different image and I'm just gonna load it here so click so I have the texture right here and I'm just gonna double click on it and now you have it so if it is looking a little bit you know low quality that's because of the draft texture so it just tries to compress it in order to save some memory but now you can see the final quality and then I'm just going to go and turn down the glossiness. And you can also add the illumination on the bump map, but that is not what we're looking for here. So I'm just going to add my objects. So first off, for the sports world, so you have Element 3 has these uh, model packs, which are also, you know, you can buy, buy them separately from Video Copilot. So you go to sports, and I'm just going to add a helmet, a soccer ball, uh, probably some gloves and a basketball you can also add like a football but then it's okay so the thing you want to do is you want to drag this sphere model this is the earth so I double click earth you want to make it and put it into group 2 and all the other objects are going to be just drag them out on group 1 and then I'm just gonna delete the group folder which is empty so now you have all these objects right so I'm just gonna scale up the earth hit R and scale it up that's about it and hit OK and it, it's looking pretty weird now so we need a camera so right click or go to layer new camera sorry not null no object camera and uh, 24 millimeter is fine it's going to zoom out like that and I'm gonna go into group 1 and set it set the particle replicator to be a sphere and definitely turn 
down the size, go into the particle look and uh, turn it down to like three or four maybe, four is fine. But, that, but then I'm just going to increase the particle count so it's going to be a lot and just move it up and we can increase the shape scale so that it doesn't sort of collide with the earth. But still, I think they're a little too big, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, and zoom in, make the particle size to like three, and just scale them down. So the other thing I want to do is I'm just going to add new solid for the background. So it's going to be a dark bluish, you know, desaturated blue, just like that. And we need to add some lighting. So you're going to go into the render settings, lighting. I'm just going to add the cinema lighting and make sure you have a good, I mean, the lighting is in that direction that you want it to be and uh, make sure it's not overshooting. So that's, that's fine. And in the original example, you can see that we have some shadows here. So, you know, this one is casting a shadow onto the other one which is looking really nice and realistic. So you can go in here and I'm just going to add a parallel light. So layer new light and I'm going to make it parallel. Make sure cast shadows is on and just hit P and adjust the position here. Move it up slightly and increase the Z this much. So now if you go into element 3D, you go into the shadows and turn them on. You can see that we have some shadows here. So it is, uh, it is going to calculate, so they're not really doing anything, so you can just go ahead and, you know, just like that, maybe adjust, so now you can see the shadows, right? So yeah, we have the shadows of them sort of falling onto the object, but we don't have any rotation, so I'm just going to go into the, if you, if I want to rotate like everything, I can go ahead into the world rotation, world transform, go into the world rotation, and now we can basically like animate the rotation Y. So I'm just going to alt click to add an expression and I'm going to add a time. So time is basically going to use the current time as the value, but I'm just going to multiply it to like 50. So now you have a movement and now you can see the shadows more clearly, right? And I want each of them individual objects to also be rotating. So what I'm going to do is go into the group one. We have different parameters here. So I'm just going to turn uh, collapse down the particle replicator and I'm going to go into the particle rotation and rotation random. So now we have this. I'm just going to alt click and time multiplied by 20. So they're not moving as fast, but still they are rotating. I think the movement of the earth, the general movement is a little too much. So I'm just going to make it like 30, just like that. Yeah, it's looking beautiful, right? So from, from here on, you can just go ahead and, you know, just duplicate this, control D and just chain the objects. You know, that's, that's what I did for the other ones, you know, just delete them, not the earth, but the objects. So I'm just going to go into probably like fresh food, add an apple, a cherry, grapes, maybe some half slice of kiwi, and a strawberry, right? So just hit OK. And now you have a complete set. I think we haven't deleted the helmet, <laughs> which is a, ve a weird combination. I'm just going to go into the, I think we have, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe the other one is on, so we need to turn it off, all right, so now we have these objects, very simple, you know, the fruits will, you can see some of them are penetrating through the earth, you can go ahead and increase the shape scale, so they're not, but still they're looking pretty beautiful. And for the urban world, it's a, it's a little bit different of a setup, but pretty much the same. So what I did here was I went into the scene setup and I've used the Metropolitan pack from Video Copilot. So you can, this is basically for our skyscrapers and buildings. So I've just added some buildings here and hit OK. 
and I went into make sure it is set to sphere again and the rotation is set to along surface and you can just rotate it you know different ways so you can go just like that so probably like 80 degrees and the rest is just you know I've just deleted the rotation because they don't need to be rotating all right and again you can go ahead and add different objects you can add humans you can add cars you know planes and jets and stuff like that but you get the gist of it all right and yeah that is how you create some cool 3d worlds using element 3d and uh, I know I haven't done any After Effects tutorials since like what two years so I am gonna probably do a lot of After Effects tutorials as well so tell me if you have enjoyed it or if you have any questions make sure to tell me in the comment section for this tutorial and as always if you haven't subscribed to my channel it would mean a lot to me if you just click on subscribe and uh, you know hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new content and uh, you know tell me guys what you want next you know so I'm, I'm all here I'm all listening to you and what you want to learn all right and if you want some high quality great music you can go ahead and check out our audio aura channel so it is basically we have some royalty free uh, really high-end no copyright music you can go ahead and use them for your projects so completely free no copyright you can just go ahead and use it and subscribe to our channel as well all right so this was the today's tutorial i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you learned something from it and uh, till the next one, enjoy working.